Hi guys, Abs here. Welcome to an update to the Social Hub Builder. I'm going to be taking you through version 2.0019. In this update, we've added new sites, we've added IMAP support, we've added multiple profile retry and uh, sorry retries, and we've also added some and some changes to the import feature. How you actually import your sites? Um, sorry, import your profiles, and we've also rearranged and recoded some of the sites that we work with, added the extra new sites to the hub linker, and I'll be taking you through all the changes now, showing you exactly how we can work with these and how easier it has become and how easier it has become to actually work with a social hub builder. So let's go over to the sign up script first and see exactly how this is going to function guys. So oh yep yeah, we've also added a timeout feature. Um, now the timeout feature this time is for the website response. Now the way this works is I'm not sure if you guys have faced this. I'm I'm certainly sure you have. Um, now you might have gone into your inbox and you found that a site such as Delicious has actually sent you um, a confirmation email saying yes you have been successfully signed up. However, the social hub builder turns around and tells you that it was failed. Now the whole reason behind that guys is because of the response time. Now sites such as Delicious, Smug Mug, and we even noticed a few more that are all running behind HTTPSs. Um, what they are doing, they're taking much longer to actually report back and give us a full and correct response for us to capture. And as standard, because we've hard coded the timeout wait finish time um, of each website and the response time inside of the inside of the software itself to 20 seconds, um, then we're waiting up to 20 seconds. If we haven't got a response, we're moving on and we're putting that site down has failed. If we get a response within that 20 seconds, fantastic, it's a successful site and we're going to be moving on. Now, it normally works perfect with HTTP requests, guys, um, but obviously that isn't the case with a number of sites. So the good idea or the best thing to do is to actually increase this to about 30 or even 40, knowing that the software will actually wait for a response or up to whatever seconds you put in here, whichever is quicker. Um, so it's still going to be working real rapid, but it might just take a little longer um, to actually wait for an actual response for websites such as Hello Text and such as Delicious as well, which are frequent ones that give you issues and don't actually note down the successes in the success file, even though it has been successful. But the whole reason behind that is because we haven't had that response. So you've actually got a website response time here now as well, guys. Um, now let's go over to edit account details. Now, as you can see guys, from the edit account details, nothing's changed here whatsoever, but we have made one slight change to the CSV import, import feature. Now, I'll show you that now in action. Let me just put this on pause and open up the CSV. Okay guys, so here's the CSV file. As you can see, I've named these profiles one, two, three. I've opted to let the system add the username in there for me. I've added a password in there myself. Password hint will be added by the system. Emails I've added in there as well. Add random characters I've added in there as well, yes. But auto-generate personal work details. This time I've told the system no. Now, what I'm doing here, guys, is previously the issue that we had, or it wasn't actually an issue, um, but what happened was we were telling the system to automatically generate all the personal work details and everything for us, um, and we were doing that by saying yes. Now, if we wanted our own, if we wanted the system to enter and, you know, fill all the details for us, but we wanted to ourselves control the date of birth or control the company name or the website URL or whatever, um, then the system wasn't automatically generating all them details for us because we filled in one of them areas. So what we need to do now, guys, if you want to fill out any of your details here on auto generate personal details, just click on no. So basically you're filling out no for all of them. And then all you need to do is fill out any area that you want to fill out yourself here and the system will automatically pick up on that. And any areas you leave blank yourself, the system will fill out for you. So as you can see here, we've got date of birth down here. Okay, this date of birth here is actually in fact wrong. It says month, month, day, day, year, 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 year. It should actually be day, day, month, month, year, 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 year. So this is actually the 10th of October, sorry, yeah, the 10th of October, 1981. This is the 15th of July, 1983. And this here is the 7th of October, 1984. And company name, mine, yours, here's just to give you an example of how it's gonna work. So that's been over. I've got no profiles in here, guys. I'll import the profile. And we should have three. And as you can see, we're well, the 10th of October 1981, company name mine, and everything else has been automatically generated for us. Profile two, guys. Oops, 
Okay, 15th of July 1983, company name is yours, and everything else has been generated for us. Profile 3, 7th of October 1984, company name his, and everything else has been done for us. So it's very simple to work with this now, guys, and it's going to be very straightforward for you to fill out the areas that you want to fill in yourself and let the system fill out the remaining areas for you. Now, websites, guys, we've got in total now we have 113 in web 2.0 sites that we support we support all of the websites that the, that the bookmark lovers um website actually supports now and we've also reflected them changes on the linker as well so when you go over to the linker script as well guys what you'll notice is under bookmark lovers you have many more websites that you can actually select and link to now so we do full support for bookmark lovers in here now as well guys um 113 websites in total there's some more new there's new sites that have come in here as well such as croco doc and croco uh, isu and some other ones as well guys we should find all in the release notes i'll actually note them here for you now we've got blink list buddy marks friend site multiply one view croco croco doc isu or isu i'm not sure how you pronounce it annotate send space and slide share guys now a new plugin is being released that i am going to be talking you through um but i will be emailing you about this later on in the week um hopefully monday sometime and it's a plugin that you really are going to want to get your hands on guys because it's going to be working with document sites and pdf sites and it's going to really add that diversity that we're looking to get um which i'm 100 percent sure that you're looking to get yourself as well and we all are as well so i'm going to be making you aware of that guys um so just keep an eye out for the email and hopefully Hopefully I'll even try and put a bonus in together for you as well um, see what I can do okay so these are the websites guys now another change that we've added as well guys is we've added IMAP support so let me show you exactly how this works the first thing you should do is actually select your your email provider from the drop down um, so for example if we're going AOL as you can see this is currently automatically on pop 3 settings if it is IMAP that we're using just click on is IMAP and it automatically changes over to the IMAP servers that are used for these websites now it works exactly the same as pop3 email verification so it's just as fast but the extra advantage that we have with IMAP guys is that we, is that it will actually verify your spam emails as well so whatever emails are inside of your spam box it will actually go and e verify them emails for you as well so it's a very good idea to use IMAP um, and one slight issue that we had previously as well guys is when you were working with proxies it was totally fine you had your general settings um, in your proxy settings down here guys and that would also work with verifying your emails as well however if you're using Tor um, then you didn't have the option to use Tor when verifying your emails um, so as a result guys we've actually added a Tor connection timeout in here as well so if you are using Tor just ensure that you've actually got Tor enabled from the settings and it can also work with your email verification now as well okay we also made some different changes um, to the email verification uh, there's actually three types of emails that come through to uh, your email providers either plain text HTML text um, or mine emails as well so this system supports all three um, and you shouldn't find any issues with your email verification now we double checked and we triple checked our email verifications uh, we have made a slight change to the logic in the way that we are actually working with these and the whole reason behind that guys is because some users made notes that when they went to places like Twitter or they went to places like Tumblr then sometimes it would still ask them to verify their emails and sometimes it was verified um, so we've actually made a triple scan of each of each email that we receive guys to make sure that we know the full format of that so I'm hoping that there will be no issues like this again if you did experience this issue yourself before that is okay so um, the last final one guys or the last change that we've made is multiple profiles so for example we've got three profiles in here um, when it's totally complete guys um, it will prompt you to retry failed now previously what this would do is actually retry your very last profile um, that you was working with however what this will do now is retry failed for all of the ones that you've actually got in the queue and it will also change the proxies based on your profiles and at the same time if you're using Tor then it will also restart Tor before each retry as well so again guys uh, we've got a number of changes in here we've got a website timeout we've got retry failed for multiple profiles we've got edit account details so you can actually edit your profile your CSV file um, and only edit the areas that you're looking to actually 
let the software pick up on and let the software auto generate all the other details. We've added new websites in here. We've also cleaned up some websites such as Snap My Life, Vio and Vidler. Um, we've added the proxy tour timeout inside um, sorry we've added the tour timeout inside of the email verification we've added imap support we've cleaned up how we're actually verifying the emails as well um okay other than that guys we've got the hub linker as well and on the hub linker as well guys one of the issues that we had was when we are when we were using tour um then we weren't able to use it with the linker proxies and everything else worked with the linker guys but tor wasn't so we've actually added a tor connection timeout to the linker as well guys um other than that this is the new social hub builder very simple very straightforward it's getting even easier to use guys it's going to get even more powerful as time goes on i've got some new um changes that i'm hoping to get built into here as well again i'm going to be sending you an email hopefully next week sometime making you aware about this new plugin which is honestly a must-have even if you don't buy through me guys i'm not after the affiliate commissions but it's something that i want you guys to get your hands on and i wouldn't be supporting them sites i mean some of these websites that we've added in here with the update today are, are for no other reason than because of this plugin guys um that is coming out next week so I'm going to be emailing you about it, guys. Um, I'm hoping that you're going to you're going to be getting it as well. You're certainly going to have the power to create all the accounts. Um, and anyway, so it's going to it's just going to be much more easier to work with the social hub builder, guys. New changes are planned. Um, some changes that I'm hoping to, you know, implement myself first, test through it all myself first, and then obviously pass it over to you guys um, and see exactly how it gets on. Thank you very much guys. So this is a new social hub builder 2.00019. I hope you enjoy working with the changes.